What is hydrothermal alteration? Hydrothermal alteration refers to the chemical and mineralogical changes that occur in rocks when they are subjected to high temperatures and fluids under pressure, typically from hydrothermal solutions circulating through fractures and pores in the rock. Hydrothermal alteration is an important process in the formation of many types of mineral deposits, including epithermal gold-silver deposits, porphyry-copper deposits, and scarn deposits. During hydrothermal alteration, the fluid circulating through the rock can dissolve and transport certain elements and minerals, while depositing others. This can lead to the formation of new minerals, the replacement of existing minerals with new ones, or the alteration of the chemical composition of the rock. The type of alteration that occurs depends on the temperature, pressure, and chemical composition of the fluids, as well as the composition and texture of the host rock. There are several different types of hydrothermal alteration that can occur, each with its own characteristic mineral assemblage and texture. These include propylytic alteration, which is characterized by the formation of chloride, epidote, and carbonate minerals, philic alteration, which is characterized by the formation of sericite, quartz, and pyrite, argillic alteration, which is characterized by the formation of clay minerals such as kaolinite and smectite, and advanced argillic alteration, which is characterized by the formation of alanite, dikite, and pyrophyllite. Hydrothermal alteration can also be used as a tool for exploration, as the mineral assemblages and textures associated with different types of alteration can provide clues about the nature and location of mineral deposits. By studying the alteration patterns in rocks, geologists can gain insights into the timing, temperature, and composition of the hydrothermal fluids that form the deposit, which can help in the search for additional mineral resources. How does hydrothermal alteration occur? Hydrothermal alteration occurs as a result of the interaction between hot, mineral-rich fluids and the surrounding rock. These fluids can originate from a variety of sources, including deep-seated magmatic or volcanic activity, the circulation of groundwater, or the interaction of seawater with the oceanic crust. The process of hydrothermal alteration can be broken down into several stages. The first stage involves the movement of fluids through the rock. This can occur along fractures and faults, as well as through porous or permeable layers. As the fluids circulate, they can dissolve and transport certain elements and minerals, while depositing others. The second stage of hydrothermal alteration involves the interaction of the fluids with the rock. This can lead to a variety of mineralogical and chemical changes, depending on the temperature, pressure, and composition of the fluids, as well as the composition and texture of the rock. The most common types of alteration that occur are silicification, oxidation, and the formation of clay minerals. Silicification occurs when silica-rich fluids interact with the rock, leading to the replacement of existing minerals with quartz. This can result in the formation of massive quartz veins, or the replacement of the entire rock with a silica-rich material. Oxidation occurs when oxygen-rich fluids interact with the rock, leading to the conversion of sulfide minerals to oxides. This can result in the formation of iron oxides, such as hematite or gethite, which can be economically valuable. The formation of clay minerals occurs when hydrothermal fluids interact with the rock, leading to the alteration of the mineralogy of the rock. This can result in the formation of a variety of clay minerals, such as kaolinite, elite, or smectite, which can have a variety of economic implications. The final stage of hydrothermal alteration involves the cooling and solidification of the fluids, which can lead to the formation of mineral deposits. These deposits can take a variety of forms, including massive sulfide deposits, porphyry copper deposits, and epithermal gold-silver deposits, depending on the nature of the hydrothermal system and the composition of the fluids. Overall, hydrothermal alteration is an important process in the formation of many types of mineral deposits, and plays a critical role in the exploration and exploitation of mineral resources. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications.